y'all welcome back to my youtube channel and welcome to day six of vlogmas this morning i've been doing some work on my computer but i just threw on a little bit of makeup and now it's time to officially get my day started so i don't know exactly what we're gonna get into today cody called and one of his friends is having a fire so we may go hang out by a fire i don't know it should be fun i'm gonna bring y'all along with me Let's get Vlogmas Day 6 started. Woo! It's time for the daily dog park trip. And Bo just covered himself in dirt, which is... Oh, what happened? What'd you just do to yourself, bud? You okay, Bobo? What'd you do? Why'd you cry, bud? I have no idea what he did. I just went back and watched the video. And I have no idea what he could have done that made him yelp like that. Okay, there you go. Bury your face in that sand you just dug up. Very nice. Bo, be nice. <laughs> well then, just gonna bury your ball and lay your body on top of it. Literally have no idea why Bo yelped like that at the dog park, but I don't like that. I've mashed on him all over. I felt down his back. I felt down all of his legs. And he's been just fine. So I don't know, but... I'm gonna keep an eye on him and if something comes up, we'll go to the vet. So yeah, now that I'm back inside, I am hungry. So I'm gonna make myself some breakfast. Let's go. Remember how I made that breakfast wrap for Cody the other day using these large burrito flour tortillas? Well, those obviously aren't low in carbs, but I do have my carb balanced tortillas and I really want one of those. So I'm going to try and attempt to make that with these much smaller tortillas and see what happens. I'm gonna make two of them. So I put down two sheets of aluminum foil. I am using some of this Reynolds Wrap nonstick foil because when I made it last time, it did stick a little bit to the foil I used. I'm gonna lay out a tortilla in the middle of each piece of foil. This is the ham we picked up at the grocery store yesterday, just natural hickory smoked ham. And it is one gram of carb per four slices of ham, which is perfect because I plan on placing two slices of ham in the middle of each of these tortillas. Now I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of shredded cheese on top of the ham. I have no idea how well this is gonna work out or if it's not gonna work out at all, but I just scrambled up two eggs and I'm gonna try and make a little indention in the middle of the cheese and pour in my egg, but I don't know if this is gonna work or not. So let's pour a little bit right there like so oh it just got everywhere yeah that didn't work out like i planned right there you see it uh-huh got all over all right let's see can i close this up real quick ready here's this oh yep i'm making a mess this is not going like i planned okay close this up ah, come on egg stay in just fold it up in the in the foil and we're just gonna hope for the best all right i need larger uh, tortillas that is for sure all right we got one Woo! all right got my handy dandy little low carb breakfast wraps ready hopefully the egg isn't seeping out everywhere but we're gonna try and see what happens I have my toaster oven on and heated up to 400 degrees so I'm gonna stick these in here for 25 to 30 minutes and we'll see what happens I mean I really don't know how well this is gonna go or if it's not gonna go well at all my dogs are so darn spoiled it is their lunch time someone asked why I feed Cooper three times a day and they say that it's best to feed puppies three times a day until they're about six months old and then Bo he gets jealous so he gets a part of a scoop of food too so yeah time to feed him lunch come here Bo there you go Cooper here you go Bo just pulled my breakfast wraps out of the toaster oven i cooked them at 400 degrees for 30 minutes so let's open it up and see what they look like inside oh egg looks cooked so that's good actually these look pretty darn delicious they kind of got toasty on each side oh my gosh these look good this one looks good too. Y'all, I may have done something even though they just didn't come together that well. Oh, that's hot. 
Once they cooked, they look like they're gonna taste pretty good. I think I'm gonna put some salsa on them. I'm gonna let them cool down and then we'll give them a taste test. While my wraps cool down, I'm gonna go ahead and start a load of laundry. And I am embarrassed right now by the amount of laundry we have. I didn't realize that behind the door in the laundry room, there was a whole pile of clothes. I did not know that were there. So it is time to fix that and do a couple big old loads of laundry today because it is desperately needed. My wraps have cooled down a little bit and I added a little picante sauce to the side of the plate. I'm just using original picante sauce because I love this stuff. And I really don't plan on eating both of these. I just stuck them on my plate mainly for a picture. But I am going to give this a try. So I have my little wrap. I'm going to dip it in some picante sauce. And let's give it a try. This is really good. I'm going to do this more often. I mean, they're so easy to make. And they're so good. Mm-hmm. Here is what it looks like on the inside. You can see the egg, some cheese, some ham. Delightful. Mm. We are actually waking up at the crack of dawn tomorrow to go fishing. So I'm going to wrap this up in like a paper towel just to keep the moisture down. And I'm going to pop this in a Ziploc bag. And I have breakfast for tomorrow. How exciting is that? Because I'm always hungry as soon as we wake up in the morning. For some reason, when I wake up at like 4 a.m., I wake up hungry. So... Breakfast for tomorrow is ready. Perfect. Great. Fabulous. Time to finish my other one. Look at how this little nugget is asleep in the kitchen right now. How is that comfy? I have no idea. But I guess <laughs> it is really cute though. Remember how Bo jumped up and yelped earlier? So I think he may have tweaked something in his back. So he isn't acting like he's in major pain, but it is bothering him a little bit. So we are on the way to the vet's office. I wanted to go and make sure he gets some like anti-inflammatory meds. I pushed all over him and there's one spot on his back that's a little bit tender. So I figured I might as well go ahead and bring him into the vet let them check out his back and get him on some anti-inflammatory meds so it doesn't get any worse. So yeah, that's how our afternoon is going. Mr. Always has to make me spend money at the vet. So I ended up spending like an hour and a half at the vet with Bo and basically we think he may have tweaked his back a little bit. So he is nearly seven years old and they're like, he might be getting arthritis because he is almost a senior dog. And I was like, don't say that. But we got him some anti-inflammatory meds and hopefully he will feel much better tomorrow but i got home and we loaded up and we just came over to one of cody's friends houses and we're gonna go sit by a fire and they have goats in their backyard so i'm so excited let's go how are you come here love me love me okay or not hey there mr goat how are you today how are you do you not want scratches I want to give you some love. Let me give you some love, Mr. Goat. <laughs> I love goats so much. We just got back home from hanging out by the fire. I had big plans to make a meatball bake for dinner tonight. But when Bo had to go to the vet and I was gone for nearly two hours, that put a big old hinder in my dinner plans. So I'm just going to look through the fridge and figure out what I can throw together quickly. And I will do the meatball bake tomorrow because I was going to bake my own meatballs, do like all of the things. So I don't have time for that tonight. I'm just going to whip something up real quick. 
I'll figure out what I have in there. But yeah, let's go make us some dinner. I was digging through the fridge and totally forgot that I made this Mexican cauliflower rice and ground beef skillet for dinner last night. And I had leftovers. So, obviously, I can just throw this in the microwave, throw some sour cream on top, and I got myself a meal. Quick and easy. I don't have to do anything because it is kind of late. When we got home earlier, I had a package from Amazon waiting on me, and I kind of forgot that I ordered these the other night. Why did I order them? I really don't know, but I ordered a bag of either 45 or 60 uh, scrunchies. It was like nine bucks, but... I love scrunchies. I love to put scrunchies in my hair instead of a hairband all the time because it doesn't do as much damage. And it was like a bag of like a lot of them for cheap. Oh no, no, you better not take my scrunchies, Cooper. Look at him, he's already eyeing them. But look at all of them. I'm so excited. I got scrunchies for days. I'm gonna have them in every nook and cranny around this house, so I'll always have one. It is now about 10.45. I am trying to go to bed at a decent hour tonight since we are waking up so, so early tomorrow. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's Vlogmas. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't done so. And I will see y'all tomorrow with another video. Bye, guys. Mwah!